Hey. I'm on the mic. Do you have anything to say? Hey, Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about this place that it's hard to describe. What Coach Gasso has done here, and no one else in the country has ever done it. She cares for you as a person, and she wants what's best for you on and off the field. So that's what really brought me here, and I just am very grateful to be a part of it. We did what needed to be done. We did the three-peat, we set the records. We made history. This year is more about celebrating one another. There's nothing that can break this group. And it's about playing with a lot of joy, being present every single moment. The biggest honor is just to continuously grow the sport. Every single year, there's just more and more people watching it. We have set the standard, and there is something beautiful in that. It's going to take everything we got, and we're going to have to work really hard for it. Everyone here likes that grind, and they like that can-they-do-it type mentality. And we're always out to prove it. When I bring in coaches, I really want to feel like I can trust them, count on them, that they got my back, they know I got their back, that I care about their family. So it's just much more than what can you bring to the program, it's how do you fit. And getting Jen Rocha back into Norman, and this is where she graduated, and I coached her, and I've known her since she was in high school. To see her every day is a blessing. She keeps me accountable. She's not afraid to tell me things that I need to know, which I love. She has really expanded her horizons as a pitching coach through science and getting more involved in metrics and so forth. One thing that I love most about Coach Rocha is that she not only is able to fine tune pitchers mechanically and physically, but she's able to fine-tune them mentally so just being able to listen to the way that she talks to them especially talking to each one differently i think that that's definitely super important because she's able to cater to each and every pitcher's strengths while also strengthening their weaknesses and having a coach that is specific to what you do on the field being able to boost your confidence in more ways than one is something that can change somebody's career change their life she has a similar demeanor to me. We don't really get too high or get too low. We're just kind of calm and I really like the presence that she brings every day and she's very knowledgeable, um, but she brings different type of knowledge that I've never had before. So just being able to trust in her and trust in her philosophy and be able to use that day in and day out. I met her for the first time back in July when I was being recruited to come here. And ever since then, I have learned a hundred times more than I have probably in my entire softball career. Like she just has such a beautiful softball mind behind her that it's like she's competitive, but she's also so personable. She's so easy to get to know and she treats us all like we're her daughters. She's just one about getting your mindset right and believing in your stuff and going for it. And if you mess up, you mess up and you let it go. She knows like one missed pitch isn't gonna be the end of the world. And if you do miss a pitch, all that matters is if you were all in on it or not. She throws to a batter's weakness, but she also throws to the pitcher's strength. It's definitely an art. She takes a lot of pride in what she does. I think I got the best pitching coach in the country. Here comes the 2-2 from the OSU lefty. Got it. Swing. OU softball has a new ace on the roster. Two-time All-American Kelly Maxwell making the move from Stillwater to Norman. I've been here before, actually. I was recruited here back probably in the seventh grade. It was just, it was different, this go-round. I went on all my other visits just to make sure that this was the place, but I knew this is where I was going to end up. Get shorter arms, oh, Sid. <laughs> you too, Peyton. I got to work on my breathing so they know I'm not out of breath. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Dusted. I don't think my dad would be able to hit a ground ball if I asked him. Sorry, Dad. Pitchers. There's just something about this place that it's hard to describe. What Coach Gasso has done here and with this program, I mean, no one else in the country has ever done it. And she cares for you as a person, and she wants what's best for you on and off the field. So that's what really brought me here, and I just am very grateful to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah? Yeah. How's your yeah. life? Great. Yeah. How's yours? Fine. Where's it at? Right here. Oh, oh she might oh. go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't tell people. Watch it. Watch it. It's that boomer sooner type. <laughs>
Long day, let's finish strong. Bring the energy. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 I have just really fell in love with getting to know who Kelly Maxwell is. Now, I was in the dugout on the sidelines watching her pitch, and the one thing that she did that I really liked, she would have bases loaded and get a big out and walk off the field like a boss. No emotion, no jumping around, no screaming or yelling, and I, I was just like, ah. Oh. That is legit. Now that I know her, um, she's got such a sweet heart and she's very, still very quiet, but she's very comfortable with our locker room and our players. She's very athletic. She's very adventurous. She wants to be the first one to do it. There are some pitches that I'm watching where you might be sinking a little bit too much on your landing, but as you're delivering, we might still have a little bit. Like, you're Is that heavier drag, you think? Like, or just more give in my knee, I guess? I think if you get heavy drag, it's gonna put you at this Back. position. That heel should be grounded and stronger through. And coming through. Just gotcha. think about, like, even if you wanna do a couple of tap ball drills, yeah. you wanna be able to drive through that thing. Uh, she's got some dirty, dirty pitches, and as long as we can keep her confident and focused and all of that, which I know she's working on, and it, again, she's coming from another program, and you're working with a new pitching coach, so you're learning differently. Just straight, okay. and this goes right here. Up. Okay. Start with rise down the middle. <laughs> I, I'm really excited to do this journey with her. I just want to share some of those big moments with her. This is six. Oh, okay. I love what she's doing for her future and getting involved with Dr. Otto, who is one of our local vets. What do you call a dog with a fever? A hot dog? What do you call a cold dog? A chili dog. A chili dog. <laughs> Whenever I committed here, Coach Gasso reached out and thankful enough, I got this opportunity to connect with Dr. Otto and I come here every morning. Uh, so I have a dog of my own. He's a French bulldog named Gus. The bond that we share, I think, really kind of captivated me to get into this. I've always wanted to do something in medicine and have a practice of my own, and I was like, why not be a veterinarian? Kelly started um, coming here and shadowing with us whenever she came here to play softball at OU. And we were very excited to have her uh, because she had intended, um, and she is still intending to apply to vet schools. This is our patient for the day. She gets to see surgeries, assist in some surgical procedures. She gets to see some of the more interesting and complex cases that we see here at our hospital. I can do basic nail trims, anal glands. I can assist by giving fluids. I've also got to scrub in on a couple surgeries um, and assist there. We've had a stray cat come in once and I had the opportunity to spay it. So I'm learning a lot and I love it. Let me get in here. Ugh. Hi, want some medicine? That wasn't so bad. Great job. It's okay. See how when I'm pushing it, my needle's being pushed? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go out a little bit. I've been able to grow tremendously, I think, just like in the professional side and being able to interact with the workers here and just being able to get experience in the professional level that's going to help me in the long term. I'm just thankful for Coach Gasso and the athletic department for allowing this to happen every day so that I can better myself for the future. I think we're all super antsy and eager. We're super excited to be out there on the field playing against somebody else. There's just this level of intensity. There's some hunger there. We're excited to play other people and see everything that we've been working on this whole fall uh, take place. We're just really trying to get finishing touches, get game ready, and then it's go time from there.